אמירת עלינו לשבח, בכל מקום, מי שממהר לה מקום עבודתו, רשאי להסיר מעליו הטלית, קודם עלינו לשבח. ואין להסיר את הטלית, כי אם לאחר חליצת התפילין. When a person is in rush in the morning to go to work, he says better if a person can wait to take off this talit, this tefillin, until after, alenu l'shabeah. Not to take the talit before alenu l'shabeah off. But what if a person is in a rush? He has to go to bring parnasah. The employees are waiting, the boss is waiting, the children are waiting. He doesn't have time to take the alenu l'shabeah. Such a, such a case as Avadia, he has room to rely on to take off the talit and the tefillin before alenu l'shabeah. But he has to make sure to take it to the proper order. You have to first take off the tefillin and then take off the talit. Yesterday, we had over here occasion. There was a simcha over here. People came, Rabbi, is this the synagogue we have the occasion? I said, I think so. So he comes, they didn't have talit. And right away I showed them, come, here is the talit, here is the sidu, here is your seat, you can come and join, coffee downstairs. Now they come to the talit of the synagogue. Halakha says when you come to a synagogue, and they were using the talit of the synagogue, you have to first check it. Because the talit of the synagogue is being used by everybody. Some kids, some people don't know, they can sit on it, rip it, and it can become pasul. What is the halakha says that the strings, where is the string should be ripped in order for it to become pasul? Do you know, according to the halakha, we have four long strings over here. Those four long strings goes inside the hole, it comes back after they tied it, and you have a total of eight strings. It's really four that they are double. Says Rav yeah, that if one string is ripped on one side of the four strings, it's still kashe. Two strings ripped on the on one side, it's still kashe. Three strings, four strings, all the way, whatever you want, and everything cut cut off. All of them are still kashe. There's only four strings here, Rabbi, because the Allah says those four strings are still existing. It's still kashe. But what if you have one string of the four on the right side ripped, and the second string is on from the left side ripped? <coughs> Says the Allah in such a case, this tzitzit is not kasher. Oh, the John, what's the reason it's not kasher? Because this could be one. Because that string that ripped on the right side could be the same string that is ripped on the left side. Yeah. So the Allah says, as long as you don't have kede aniva, what's the length it's considered to be ripped? Says the Allah for you to go around. The finger and make a knot. It's called Kedeh Aniva, you see, like this. And then you open it, this is the distance. If you measure it, it's about three and a half, four centimeters. If you take a ruler, about three and a half, four centimeters. So if one string, you come to the synagogue in the morning, Shabbat morning, there is no talitot available, this talit available, but you see one of the sides is fully ripped. I go here to Tamit Only on the left side, you have a little bit strings left. And even they are ripped, but they are ripped and they are still at least four centimeters on that side. It's considerably still kosher. You can still wear it and say beracha on it. Is this the best talit to wear? No, it's not the best. But it's kosher to say beracha. So a person has to know, sometimes you come to the synagogue, the first thing you have to do is to check your talit. Talit personal that you have in your bags, you don't have to check it every day. Some people every day they check it and then they wear it. You don't have to. Why? Because you checked it yesterday and you put it in the bag. Nobody used it. But something that belongs to the synagogue, everybody using it all the time, it could be ripped without knowing. And a person fish, finishes it, put it back, puts it back. He doesn't know halakhot. That's when a person is coming, you have relatives, you have occasions behind the synagogue, you want to give them talit. Sometimes they don't know halakha. He's not, it's like all is there. You give it to them, they wear it. They say, they wear it. You, as a person that comes to synagogue, have to give them something that is kashe. You cannot provide the synagogue people, the people, the synagogue itself cannot provide to other people something that is not kashe. That's why whenever you give this talit out to people, make sure that this talit at least, at least has four centimeters of those strings from one of the sides, four, four strings, at least four centimeters kashli, it's considered to be still kashe, and it will be allowed to say,